Hi, welcome back to MBA Solutions. I am Stravan, Assistant Professor, VVCE, MBA Department, Mysuru. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please press subscribe button and bell icon for notification. Today, in this video, we are going to learn and understand the edging against the foreign exchange exposure. So, first let us understand what is foreign exchange exposure. Foreign exchange exposure is defined as the degree to which the company is affected by the change in the exchange rate. Say for an example, a subsidiary company of an India which is operating in US has made a profit of $100. Now, if the current rate is 75, you will get 750 rupees. Now, if in case, if the exchange rate decreases to 74, whether your profit will reduce or not, this risk, we call it as the foreign exchange exposure. Foreign exchange exposure occurs because of the unanticipated change in the exchange rate. Today, we are living in the era of floating exchange rate regime. The value of the currency changes frequently so that the value of the asset, the liabilities as well as the cash flow of the international company also changes. Now there are three types of foreign exchange exposure. They are first is translation exposure is also called as accounting exposure. Second is transaction exposure. It is also called as contractual exposure. And the last one is economic exposure and also called as operating exposure. So let's go one by one and understand the different types of exposure. Translation exposure is also called as accounting exposure. It is the risk that is arising out of conversion or translating a statement of subsidiary company into the parent currency. Say for an example, a company X is operating in India. It is also having a subsidiary company in US by the name XYZ. Now for the year, it has made $100 profit. Now, at the end of the year, you need to convert the financial statement of XYZ company into parent currency. That is, in US it is dollar. Now, you need to convert into rupees because the parent company is operating in India. Now, right now, the dollar price is 75. Now, at this rate, you will get a profit of 750 rupees. Now, if the dollar price reduces to 74, what will happen? Whether there will be a decrease in the profit or not, when you convert dollar into rupees, this risk, we call it as the translation exposure. The risk that is arising when you start converting or translating statement of subsidiary company into parent company currency. Transaction exposure. Transaction exposure, it is also called as contractual exposure. Let us understand with an example. Say you are planning to purchase a pen from an US company. Pen costs $100 right now but you are planning to purchase this after one month today the price per dollar is 75 rupees if you purchase today it will take you to 750 rupees but if the price of the dollar if it increases to 80 rupees what will happen to your obligation that means you are supposed to pay 800 rupees after one month. That is 
an additional of 50 rupees this risk is there no that is arising out of the transaction that you are doing from one country to another country he is called as the transaction exposure that is it measures the effect of the exchange rate change how much the effect it has made in your transaction 50 rupees on an outstanding obligation how much of outstanding obligation 750 rupees which existed before exchange rate but when settling you are supposed to pay 800 rupees this risk that is arising because of the transactions that is taking place between two different nation we call it as the transaction exposure the last is economic exposure economic exposure is also called as operating exposure this refers to the extent which the firm's future earning is affected by the change in the exchange rate say for an example company abc which is operating only in india assume it is earning 1000 crore profit every year now all the material required for this company is importing from us the dollar price is 75 now if the dollar increases to 80 now whether the profit will remain the same 1000 crore no this will reduce maybe 800 crore or 700 crore please do remember don't get confused with the transaction exposure and the economic exposure transaction exposure it is only from the short term point of view whereas from the long term point of view it is economic exposure now the question is how to reduce the risk of the foreign exchange exposure i can reduce it by hedging there are three different methods of hedging against the foreign exchange exposure the first is forward market hedging second is money market hedging and the last is option market hedging these are the three different methods of hedging against the foreign exchange exposure thank you for watching this video we'll continue with the three different methods of hedging against the foreign exchange exposure in our next video until then thank you